Hey beauties. I just thought I would come up here and show you guys how I prep my hair for box braids. So this is my afro. I just took it out of some straight to the back braids that I had. And here's my little concoction. What I have in here is very, very little bit because I didn't have anything left of coconut oil. And then I have some RS Manoia oil. oil. This is how the bottle looks. And then I have most of it, like this much of olive oil. So what I do is, I already put some in here. So I'll just take my comb and first I'll do parts straight to the back, which I did. So now I'm just taking parts, like I'll just show you guys. I take like a, di what's it called? A vertical part here. It doesn't have to be super clean or whatever. And I'll just take my applicator and try to get it right on the scalp and then I'll massage it around and try to spread it around because when you have thick, dense hair like mine, it's really hard to get every inch of your scalp. And then I'll go ahead and do my edges here and I'll do the back here and around the whole perimeter. And now I'm just going to take this and instead of trying to part it and brush it, because I haven't brushed it at all and I don't plan on doing it yet. Um... What I'm going to do now is just take this and sort of just drop it around in various um, spots in my head. I'm watching a show, so it's more than talking. And I'm just going to massage it around like this. So I'm going to finish this, and then I'm going to show you guys how I do my protein treatment. Alright, so I put all the oil in my hair. This is how much I have left. What I have here is two eggs and some mayonnaise. I'm going to take what I have left in the bottle. I'm going to pour it into the bowl. And we're going to mix that up. Okay, so this is how it should look after you mix it all together. This yellow situation. And I'm going to take the brush and apply it. But I'm going to come back with you guys. I'm going to start in the back. I'm going to come back when I come to the front. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm at the top. So all I'm doing now is sectioning off pieces. We're gonna work from the back.
so I got this shower cap. It's like a foil one. It's more, it's like more um, focused towards keeping heat inside. I'm gonna put this on. And then you wanna leave it on. I'm probably gonna leave it on all day. Don't put it, your hair under a blow dryer. There's egg and it will cook. You just kind of want to let your heat rise naturally with your body. And we're going to let that hot oil treatment and protein treatment kind of soak in. And we'll come back when I get done washing it out. Okay, so it is 6.20 now. So it's probably been about 3-4 hours since I put this on. It's been dripping down my face, which lets me know that it's time to rinse it out. Oh, God. Oh, it hit me everywhere. So here's how it's looking. The shrinkage is real. Um, looks like some of the egg has uh, maybe cooked a little bit. Which, I mean, it's not completely bad. So we're going to wash this out. I'm going to rinse in cold water first. To sort of seal it up and then um, wash it out. I'm going to use my dandruff shampoo. Oh, girl, let me get up in there. Oh, my gosh. It's hot up in there, girl. I'm going to use my dandruff shampoo and, um, mm -hmm. God, this feels so good. And wash it about three or four times with maybe two times dandruff and two times damage erasing shampoo. We'll see. And I'll come back. Let me dry off my hands so I can turn the camera off. Eh. So here's my half the shower. As y'all see, the shrinkage is real, like, and the lighting. There we go. Um, the lighting is terrible, but that's how long my hair is. It's been about almost a year, not quite a year yet, <coughs> since I shaved all my hair off. So, um, as you can see, which is one on the other rare occasion, I don't have no type of danders, no type of snow. <clears throat> no type of hailing, no type of ski resorts in my head. So <laughs> that whole treatment be saving lives, girl. I wash my hair twice with a dandruff shampoo, and then I think once with the Garnier Damage Repair shampoo, and then I use my um, it's a Biotin hair thickening conditioner, which I don't even really need because my hair is thick enough as it is. But I mean, thick hair is beautiful hair, so whatever. Let's let's do us. So I'm gonna go. Hopefully get his hair braided tomorrow. The lady was talking about she doesn't know if she can use my hair or not. So she can't use my hair. Um, she ain't getting that done by her because uh, she paid a lot of money for that hair. Okay? She waited a long time for that hair. And even though it's not the color that I wanted it to be, it's still going to be in my head. So we'll see. I'm excited. I'm not excited to sit in that chair for six hours, but I'm excited though. So I'll probably come back to you guys tomorrow when I get my when it's finished and we could talk about it.